What's up guys? This is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's FitFrag. Today I'm going to talk about top 10 heavy projecting perfumes that I have in my collection. So whichever I'm going to talk today in this particular video are not the only ones which project heavy. There are so many others as well but these are the ones that I have in my collection and I have picked the best 10 among them. So just to let you guys know that most of the heavy projecting perfumes are usually winter based because the summer fresh aquatic types do not have that character of heavy projection by nature of the notes used in it. But I still have two perfumes which I would be addressing in these top 10 which can be used during the summer evening times. So I will start with those first because those are not heavy projecting ones among the others that I would be talking today. So. I have 10 in total so coming in at number 10 is John Paul Gaultier Ultra Mail. Now this one actually has a very heavy projection comparing the usual fresh sweet scents. So this can be used during the evening times of the summers. Usually this fragrance is known to be a party wear fragrance so you can use it for parties as well because it definitely has a heavy projection because when I wear this to office even one hour later people can still smell me who are three to four feet away from me because that's a kind of projection but the projection mellows down every hour so it projects about three hours or four hours or about three feet and then it mellows down so the first one hour it has a heavy projection it projects about three to four feet easily when you're indoors so that's the reason I'm still placing this in this particular list so that is at number 10 so it has a beautiful pear sweetness along with vanilla in the base. So that was John Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Now coming in at number 9 is Rasasi Darich. Again this can be used during the summer evening times and it has an enormous projection because when my colleague wears this to office I can smell him 5 feet away even after 3 to 4 hours. But you need to have a very sensitive nose where you can detect those smell because it is soft in projection but it is still very evident if you can realize the smell of Rasasi Darich. So it has a nice coriander spiciness along with some fresh notes but it has enormous projection when you're indoors so you can use this for outdoors as well it may not be evident to everybody like I said so indoors it is easily detectable and it has an enormous projection in the first four to five hours so that was Rasasi Darich at number nine so now the others that I'm going to talk are strictly winter scents so do not try them during the summers because they can get too cloying so coming in at number eight is Ragba Wood Intense by Latafa. So this is a very creative fragrance. It has a nice burning campfire kind of smell along with some sugar sprinkled on it. I have done a separate review on this as well. You can watch that. So it is a very creative fragrance, not recommended for beginners. If you're buying perfumes for the first time, I don't really recommend this because it is a creative fragrance. Like I said, not everybody would understand the creativity of this fragrance, but it is beautifully done for the price. Coming to the projection, it has a heavy projection. It projects easily about three to five feet if you are indoors for the first two to three hours. And the last thing also goes about 12 hours plus. On clothes, it actually goes 20 hours plus. So. Coming in at number 7 is Rasasi Shura. I think this needs no description. It has a beautiful tobacco note with some amber on it and it also has a very nice raw tomato kind of feel. It, it smells like that neither too raw nor too ripe tomato and I really enjoy smelling that note in it which actually comes in the mid after the dry down which is about 2 hours. But again the projection is really good it easily projects about three to four feet in the first two to three hours i heard the old batches were even more beast mode but mine is a 2019 mid batch and i still get about three to four hours of projection for three to four feet so i would still place this in this list so that was at number seven now coming in at number six is Oud Rose by Inspired Aroma. So I have done separate review on this as well. It has a beautiful packaging. Now this is a beautiful mix of Oud and Rose combination and it has great quality for the price. It costs about 2500 for a 50 ml but the quality is top notch guys. You can easily compare the quality of Inspired Aroma fragrance with most of the designers. I wouldn't really compare it with Chanel or Dior but otherwise the other designers that you get for the 5k, 6k range you can easily compare them to that quality so that has an enormous projection so when I wore it to office once I wore it only once because it is not a typical office wear fragrance and my colleagues could smell me for at least four to five feet in the first two to three hours so that's the kind of projection it has they also have the pure perfume version mine is extra tip perfume I would say that 
x-ray tipper foam is more than sufficient because I don't like it when it is too strong. So I prefer x-ray tipper foam. So that was Oud Rose by Inspired Aroma at number six. So coming in at number five is Midnight Oud by Ardal Zafran. Now this also has a heavy projection. It has a beautiful cardamom and a very dominant incense note which helps it project really well. It projects easily about three to five feet in the first two hours. After that it mellows down and comes closer to your skin but it still has a great projection. When I wore it on my clothes and I wore the same t-shirt after two days because I just wore that t-shirt for about two or three hours the previous time and when I wore it after two to three days my brother could still smell that on my t-shirt for about three feet away. So that's the kind of projection this one has that is Midnight Oud by Ardal Zafran. A beautiful incense based fragrance along with some cardamom on the top. So coming in at number four, Rasa Si La Yukuan. Um, this is a beautiful leather based fragrance and it has a beautiful raspberry note in the dry down which I love the most. Even when I compare this to Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford, I personally prefer this one because of that raspberry note in the dry down. Now when it comes to projection, this is enormous guys. Even if you pay 5000 for this one, you only need about three to four sprays when you're going indoors and maybe about six sprays maximum if you're going outdoors. This is more suitable for winters or if you happen to be in air conditioned setup. But it has an enormous projection. Like I said, it easily projects four to six feet if you are indoors and people around you can still smell it even if you go with just three to four sprays. So that's the kind of projection this one has. A beautiful fragrance and it easily gives you compliments after the dry down because I've seen some not so good reactions in the first 30 minutes because it is too loud on the leather note but after one and a half hour is where it actually gives you compliments because that's when the raspberry note covers that leather note and it gives a beautiful sweetness to that overall leather based fragrance and it is a very crowd pleasing scent after one and a half hour so usually I spray it one and a half hour before I reached the destination so that's what I follow with this particular fragrance because I know for a fact that it can still cross 12 to 14, 15 hours on clothes so I don't really have to worry about the lasting but it actually gets better after one and a half hour. So that was Rasasi La Yukwam. Now coming in at number three is Killer Oud Midnight Ecstasy by Paris Corner. So I've done a separate review on this one as well. Now this is beast mode projection in the first two to three hours. Even if I compare it with Shura, I would say this has enormous projection because when my dad uses this one, the entire house smells of this one. Obviously he goes about eight sprays, which is too much, but even otherwise, when I open my perfume shelf, which I have, I can get the smell even without spraying it. So that's the kind of projection this one has. Even though I have Shura in the same shelf, this is the smell I get first when I open my shelf. So beautiful scent. It is a little complex in the top because it has that spicy caramel note and then in the dry down it gets that beautiful vanilla again but that top note is a little complex and that's where it actually projects heavy in the first two to three hours and it projects easily about three to five feet if you are indoors. I wore it once to office and one of my colleague peeped into the room just because she could smell the fragrance and she was like four to five feet away and she said I knew it was you because your fragrance was all around the place. So that's the kind of response this one gives. That is Killer Oud Midnight Ecstasy by Paris Corner. Do give it a try if you have the budget of 2000. So in all these lists I'm not really restricting any budget because this particular video is only about heavy projecting perfumes. Now coming in at number two is Swiss Arabian Sharaf. This is not very easily available in India but some sellers do sell it. I'm not very sure if they still have stock but it is easily available in Dubai. So in case you happen to travel there or any of your friends or relatives happen to travel there or if you know any seller who sells this in India you can definitely give it a shot. I got this from Dubai. Now this is a beautiful oud and vanilla based fragrance but the projection is like atom bomb guys because even when I go with just three space to office, people can still smell me for about three to five feet. Sometimes even who are seven feet away can still smell this one because that's the kind of projection this one has. And three sprays is more than enough for indoors occasion. Even if you go with one spray, I think people can still smell it because that's the kind of projection this one has. But though it is an oud and vanilla combination, the oud is not too skanky in this. It is very nicely blended with the vanilla note and it makes it 
a crowd pleasing as well but do not go heavy on the trigger during the summers i would rather suggest this for evening times of the summer or it is best suited for winters or air conditioned setup so that was oud sharaf by swiss arabian at number two now coming in at number one now to be honest this is not the best quality ingredients that i have smelled when it comes to oud rose and saffron fragrance and that is magic oud pure saffron by Paris Corner. Now, if you only care about heavy projecting perfume, this is at number one in my list because just with two sprays, it fills my entire room and I can smell the entire room for about four to five hours, sometimes even on the sixth hour, just with two sprays. So that's the kind of projection this one has. It is like a nuclear bomb among my collection. But like I said, I wouldn't claim this to have the best quality saffron or oud note. If you want the best quality oud and rose combination, this is one of the best that I've tried after Lancome oud bouquet, that is oud rose by Inspired Aroma. And if you want a better quality saffron note, then go for Mizian by Ajmal, which is an attar again. For this price, I wouldn't really complain the quality of saffron, rose and oud used in it, because for this price, you can't really expect a better quality because it only costs about 1,500 and it is 100 ml, but if you only care about projection, then this is a nuclear bomb, guys. That is pure saffron magic wood by Paris Corner. So definitely give it a try if you only care about projection and if you are fine with a decent saffron, rose and wood based scent. So that was at number one. So let me know in case you have tried any of these. Let me know which are your best projecting perfumes that you have. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon in another video. Thanks for watching again. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.